Hello everyone and welcome to Lake Tekapo, located in New Zealand's South Island and this is also part of the largest dark sky reserve in the entire world. In this video we're going to take you to some lookouts, little places around the lake including the famous Good Shepherd Church, as well as going on a nighttime mission to see the Milky Way. We are just taking a little walk along the lake's edge now and it is so flat. The only thing causing ripples right now is these two little ducks that are just hanging out here. The water is so clear, it's so picturesque. It's like a painting. Um, but I'm just hoping that we do get a bit more blue sky and clear nights. We're located right next to the Church of the Good Shepherd, which we are probably gonna check out. It's like an iconic um, Lake Tekapo location here. People get a lot of like nighttime photography here because this is obviously a beautiful place to come and watch the stars. But it is so serene here. People are just wandering around. There's some people cycling past on their bikes and you know, people just coming here for tours on their tour buses and just having a little wander down by the lake's edge. It's really peaceful. Well, we've just finished dinner and we are gearing up for a beautiful, beautiful night of stars because look at the sky out here. We've completely lost all of our clouds and I'm super excited to see the stars here because this is one of those places where they control how much light pollution actually comes from the town. They install special kinds of street lights and there's like rules and regulations about how much light you can emit. So this should be an amazing evening. I've got to um, do the dishes now, finish up dinner, and then we're gonna head out to find a spot where we can watch the stars over the lake. So we have come down to the Church of the Good Shepherd now and with all the lights off, the stars are absolutely incredible. We have the perfect night for it. Right above the Church of the Good Shepherd, the Milky Way is rising up and it just looks incredible. There is a line of photographers here all trying to get their perfect shot. And then on the other side of the church, there's loads of people, loads of cars. Everyone's just making the most of this beautiful clear night that we have tonight in Lake Tekapo. Okay, so the time lapse is running and now we just have to wait and hope that it captures some amazing stars. It is looking really beautiful out there and yeah, there's a lot of people here waiting around. But the stars are just incredible. When you shut off all of the lights, you can just see millions and millions of stars up there. It is really amazing. Okay, I'm all done. That was really cool. I've checked the time lapse. I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That took about an hour to get and a lot of um, practice shots to try and line it all up and get the perfect thing. But yeah, really cool. Lovely to um, chat to some of the people down here and just enjoying all the stars. It's really, really good. All right, time to pack up. This morning we have a beautiful sunrise over Lake Tekapo. The forecast actually says it's cloudy and there's a little bit of cloud in the sky, but the sun is just using that to make some beautiful orange colors. And I'm just out here enjoying it. Charlotte is still not feeling too well, so she is in bed, but hopefully when I get back, she's feeling a bit better and we can go and explore this amazing place for the day. So right across from where we're staying, we have access to Lake Tekapo. It's just basically across the road. And I've come down here this morning just before sunrise because it's about eight o'clock at the moment at this time of year. And it is just incredible. We have beautiful colors in the sky. We've got geese all in the water and it's just wonderful. It's a really, really wonderful place. The sunrise is epic. Right, going for a little run this morning because um, Charles still, still resting in bed. 
and it's so pretty along here. We've got this beautiful walkway which extends from Station Bay back to the township of Tikapo. And there's bunnies running around, flowers, lots of birds and the lupins. Oh, it's lovely. Across this beautiful bridge that goes over the Chikapo River. Made it to the Church of the Good Shepherd. And this is where I'm going to turn around. Wow. Beautiful church. I know it's mid run, but this cafe here we got recommended to go and visit by the staff at our reception. So I'm going to get a coffee, sit in sunshine, and check it out. While Charlotte is having a bit of a bed rot day, I have just taken a little drive out of Tekapo village and I've come around the back of Mount John and I just couldn't help but notice this huge mountain range, the Southern Alps just out here looking amazing. There's a bit of sunlight out there as well. So just capturing a bit of a time lapse on this camera so you can enjoy it. And I think I'm gonna take a little drive maybe up to Mount John and see if I can get to the cafe at the top. So there is a road up to the Mount John Observatory, but there's an $8 road user fee. So I'm not sure if I should do it. Maybe, yes, no. Seems to be quite popular. Hi there. Well, <laughs> it's $8 spent. I hope this road is worth it. Well, here we are at the top of Mount John and there's a observatory up here. So you can come up here for some stargazing. But the views of the Alps out here and the drive up, it just kind of winds up and you get views over to Lake Tekapo. And there's another lake over here, which is incredible, but the Southern Alps, that is the, the knockout feature. An incredible view from up here. I'm gonna take a wander around and see what I can see from, I can see the trig point up there. That, that'll be the highest point. So we'll be able to get a good view of Lake Tekapo over the other side. Now, you definitely can walk up here if you want to from Tekapo. You go to Tekapo Springs and the beginning of the summit track starts from there. But you can pay $8 and just drive straight up here. A lot of people have come up here with their camper vans. It is definitely worth it. But there's some really quite interesting uh, cloud formations in the sky as well. And there's also a cafe up here which closes at 2 p.m. I believe. But if you get up here early enough, you can go to the cafe, have a coffee on top of Mount John. Wow, look at this place. Wow, I might have to just bring Charlotte back up here if she's feeling better tomorrow morning. It'll cost me another $8, but wow, just look at this view down and I guess that is the track which you can take from Tekapo town. That lake, wow, look how blue that is. So nice. Probably got something to do with some glacial flower which is from ground down uh, rocks underneath the glacier. Creates this very, very fine flower which uh, doesn't settle in the lakes and that's what makes them super blue. Um, it kind of catches all the red light and the blue light is reflected apparently. So you get these super blue lakes and there's one nearby, Lake Pukaki, which is just incredibly blue. There's a lot of glacial flower in that one. Well, if I could only give one recommendation for a stay here in Lake Tekapo, it would definitely be to come up to Mount John. Drive up here, walk up here, whatever, but try and get here on a clear night if possible. 
Um, I think the road closes at 6 p.m. in summer, 5 p.m. in the winter, and I think they probably do tours up here as well, so you could probably book a tour to come up here um, separate from driving up privately, but what an amazing spot. This is where we've been staying for our time here in Lake Tekapo. We're in a kiwi batch and it is so peaceful here. We've got rabbits, we've got ducks visiting us. Um, we are right on the lake's edge. This place is called Lake's Edge Holiday Park and it's obvious why. But it's very peaceful here and if you're looking for a place to come that is very secluded and away from the main town then this would be a great spot. The only thing that I don't like is that Depending on which mobile network you are on, you won't get any mobile service here. The, I believe the towers that we connect to are on top of Mount John, which is right there, but because they're on top of Mount John, they don't actually reach down to this little spot just here. If you're on Spark, however, I think that that's fine. Um, the Wi-Fi is hit and miss here. You kind of have to be next to one of the towers. I think there's one on our roof, but because our cabin is so well insulated, I don't think the Wi-Fi signal actually travels into the cabin, so we have to come out here. But the bunnies here are so cute. It's obviously very peaceful. There's horse trekking nearby. We're right next to Tekapo Springs as well. And obviously you can go for a swim down in the lake or you can rent a paddleboard down there. Um, lots of stuff to do from this location right here. Great little spot and really cute little cabins inside. Lots of pine, all of the cooking amenities you need. Full fridge, freezer. I think there's about six bunk beds in there. So if you wanted to torture yourself, you could bring six kids with you. But we're just in a double bed, me and Charlotte, we have a nice double bed to ourselves and it's been a really lovely stay. Tekapo village is actually a very small place. It's mainly just this one street with, you know, a lot of restaurants and bars and things like that. And then on the other side of the street is like accommodation. But on a Wednesday night, they have a night market. And that's where I've come all by myself because Charlotte is still not feeling well. So she is having a bed rot day. But let's check out this night market together. Well, it's cute. It's little, it's fairly low key, but um, they do have a lot of different things from different cuisines. I saw Taiwan food, there was Malaysian food, there's Kiwi food, um, a bit of everything, even Spanish food. It actually seems to be quite a community run market. It's like everyone's got like bank transfer details or they take cash only, like some of them don't have FPOS or card machines. So if you want to come and support the local Tekapo community, come down to the market on a Wednesday night. Now something that we may have missed out on during our time here in Tekapo is this building right here. It is the Dark Sky Project. And this is where you want to come if you want to learn anything about uh, the New Zealand night sky or about astronomy or even just the region and Māori heritage here. This building here is where you can come for tours and they'll take you up to the observatory on top of Mount John. Or there's another private observatory they've got called I think it's Cowan's Crater. So there's plenty of different options here, but they also have this beautiful cafe inside this building. So if you wanted to come here just for a coffee or for a bite to eat, the view from the front of this building is incredible. And they've got a bit of a gift shop as well. So you can get books on astronomy or even some warm winter gear, some gloves and some beanies and stuff like that. Pretty much if you want to learn anything about the region, you're probably best off to start here. I guess I'll be walking. Well, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and joining us on our adventures here in Lake Tekapo. Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that because it really helps support our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave a little comment below. Let us know what you're up to. If you're planning a trip to New Zealand or anything like that, we'd love to be able to help. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.